Hi, I'm Rick Gibson with the University of Arizona Cooperative Extension office here in Pinal County. Today we're talking about citrus tree management. The question is often asked, how often should I irrigate my citrus tree? And the answer to that is pretty complex because we have a variety of different soils in Pinal County. Some soils are full of sand and they hold less water, dry out quicker. Some soils have clay in them, which hold the water a little longer. Uh, so it's important to know the type of soil that we have. Here in this particular site, we have a medium kind of a soil, a clay uh, loam soil that holds water well, but it has enough sand that allows the water to easily sink down into the soil. Uh, we strive to irrigate at the right time, especially in the summer. If we delay our irrigations and the trees get too dry, oftentimes we will end up with drought symptoms on the tree, such as leaves that start to curl inward, leaves that are discolored, turning yellow or brown, a fruit that ends up sunburned because there's not enough foliage to cover the fruit. Uh, typical symptoms of, uh, of a drought-stressed tree. So how do we know when it's time to irrigate? Well, the answer to that is to use a shovel, such as this small shovel that I have here, and to dig down into the soil about six inches, about six inches into the soil, and to take a handful of the soil from the bottom of that hole and squeeze it in my hand. If I have a soil that, when I squeeze in my hand, forms a really hard ball and leaves a wet outline on my hand, I've got plenty of water. I've got plenty of water and I don't need to add any extra. But when the soil gets semi-dry, forms a weak ball that starts breaking up easily, when I move my fingers, that is the exact time to irrigate. The owner of this tree needs to irrigate right now, today. You never, ever, ever want the soil to go blow sand dry. Because when we do that, the tree is definitely going to be short of water and could suffer serious harm. I'm Rick Gibson with the University of Arizona Cooperative Extension and hoping that your citrus tree is healthy and strong today.